It's not just the words that you say, it's how you say it. Hello, and thank you for reading my article in this month's review of Optometric Business. We have heard it said that a majority of communication is nonverbal. So when discussing nonverbal communication, one might really reflect upon body language, right? Though body language is very important and we will discuss it, you don't want to stop there. Your tone and your inflection carry a very powerful role in communication as well. It's one of my biggest pet peeves when I see athletes, or anyone for that matter, on TV during an interview saying, we're really excited to be here. Oh really? You're excited? Tell your face that, because it doesn't look like you're that excited. I think that it gives psycho vibes, <laughs> but for some reason, it's socially allowed. And you know what's funny is that if the inverse were done, instead of saying, I am so ticked off right now, if you said with cheer, like, I'm so ticked off right now, straight up psycho. <laughs> so the inflection and your words and your tone matter a lot to match with what you're saying and to give everything more power. So the moral of the story is it's not just the words that you say, it's how you say it. So let's dive into refining the tone and inflection for the verbiage that we used in this article. After checking in any patient, they are ready for you to tell them what's next. So since reading the article, you have learned that the worst thing that you could do would be to tell them to have a seat in the waiting area. Here's the thing, if they want to sit, they will sit. Side note, we have some Spexy member opticals that don't even have a waiting area. They have seating dispersed throughout the optical. Total genius. It is much more ideal rather than having them sit in a waiting area to direct them on what you will do and what they should do as well. Now, with influential psychology, it is important when giving direction to offer the person a sense of control by giving them a choice. The choice comes with choosing whether they would like water or tea. And for those people that respond, oh, I'm okay, I don't need either, they still have made a choice. That's when you dive into the direction. Unintentionally, many of you might say this with a smile, but still miss the mark. Something like this. Miss Smith, I will grab your water and meet you in the optical. Oh, and while you're there, take a look at the new LaFont frames that came in on that first table. The colors are stunning and, and I'll meet you over there with water. Now, with a little refinement, you can use your body language to make this so much more powerful. It could look like this. Now, Miss Smith, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that water for you and I'll meet you over in the optical. And while you're there, I want you to take a look at the LaFont frames that are at that first table. The colors are stunning. So I will meet you over there with your water. So based upon my hand gestures, if this were an optical that I were pointing to, where's the LaFont table? That's right, you know the font table is over here because that's where I gestured, okay? Your hand gestures are really important here. Two other movements and hand gestures that I wanna draw your attention to, number one are when I said me and you. This will make sure that they know that I have a task, so now they will reciprocate. Without me having a task as well, it could come off as I'm just being a bit bossy. <laughs> now the second movement I want to highlight is the motioning them over to the optical. Here you're telling them to go. You have created a path for them. Now don't get too theatrical and make it weird, just make it intentional. Now with new patients, you are missing a huge opportunity if you do not give them a version of a mini tour of your office. Now here you will step out from behind that desk and say, Mr. Dawson, I have you checked in, now let me go ahead and show you around. Through this door here is where you will find the restrooms. If you follow me over here into the optical area, right over there is the optical lab. And this is where our opticians are creating the most amazing glasses. And back down that hall are the exam rooms. And where we are standing is in our optical gallery. We have curated some frames that will give you the most dapper look. Now, I would recommend taking a look at some of these or green frames. They are designed so uniquely. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go uh, let Sally know that you are ready and she will be out here to grab you shortly, okay? Same thing here. The nonverbal communication that I just demonstrated for you is very powerful. Notice how I didn't stay behind the desk first off. It's very important to get out from behind the desk. Notice how I also didn't take them for a full tour down to see all the exam rooms or, or even into the optical lab, but I did intentionally walk them into the optical gallery and left them there with a task 
to check out some of these specific frames. Also, they have an expectation to stay there until Sally comes to get them. The more looking around they do, the higher the chances are that they will fall in love with something there in your office. Now, let's talk about them ruining your day by saying, I'm going to get my glasses online. <laughs> Rather than going, oh, okay, and handing over a prescription with a defeated you know, look on your face and your tail tucked between your legs, you could approach a situation from an authentic point of curiosity. Let's see how this would play out. Hi, I'm here checking in for my exam. Um, I'm going to need my prescription because I'm gonna get my glasses online. Oh, no problem at all. Now, were you already able to find glasses that you loved online? Yep, I sure did. Do you have a picture? I love to see the latest styles of different eyewear. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, look, aren't these cute? Oh, those are really cute. Now, have you had a chance to try them on yet? Because we have a style that's rather similar to that. Want to try them on? The point is here is you get them trying on some frames, introduce them to your optician, and you have just made magic happen, my friends. Now, what if they say they don't have a picture? In the article, I mentioned the latest trends idea. But here's a little spexy bonus for you. Oh, well, I don't actually have a picture. Oh, well, do you remember what they look like? I ask because if we have something similar, uh, you would be able to try it on. Did you want to check to see if there's something similar to what you're looking at? The whole intention is keeping the curiosity going. The likelihood of them purchasing from your store increases dramatically once they start trying on eyewear. After the article in this little video, you should be squared away to start implementing some real changes to the words that you speak and how you save those words and the movements that you make to enhance the experience each person has from the moment they walk through the door and are greeted by your friendly face. I'll see y'all next month.